Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get better internet connection on the PS5. Keep watching guys, I'm going to show you a couple ways. So if you don't like the first way, you can just go to the second way and try that one out. So first off, what you want to do is you want to go for two settings. So if you experience a lot of lag, you can actually fix this by the first way possible. So what I'm going to show you is that you have to connect with your Ethernet cable. So how do you do that? It's quite simple. You want to go ahead and go to set up Ethernet connection on settings, on network settings. And on here, what you want to do is you want to choose wired LAN cable. So if you don't have a LAN cable right now connected, it will say this. So the first way as it's just going to be getting a wired LAN cable with your router connected to your PS5. So this will give you the best possible internet connection. Like you can actually try it out. You will get maybe two times, two times more, three times more. I actually got eight times better internet connection by using wired LAN cable. And now I'm using 5.0. So on the PS4, it didn't have 5.0, so I could not select this option. So what happened was I almost had always bad internet connection because I was connected to 2.4. So that's a second way how you can also fix it is if you have a 5.0, like you see over here, and also a 2.4, what you want to always do, guys, is go to 5.0 because this is going to have better internet connection unless your router is really, really far away from your PS5 then you want to choose 2.4. But most of the times, guys, you choosing this internet connection is going to be the best option. There's a lot of difference. Uh, it's about like the frequency and stuff like that. So if you have that type, so like you see 5.0, these are great internet connections to choose from. Always go for 5.0. So this is the second way how you can boost off your internet connection. And like I said, the PS4 didn't have this option. So after the LAN cable, the best option is going to be switching to an internet connection like a 5.0. And now let's go for the third way. And that's uh, stopping your downloads and uploads. So if you're, for example, downloading something, let's just say I'm just going to download really random something. So let's just do uh, Apex. So I'm going to download Apex. So let's go back and now what's going to happen is if you go to the quick menu, you will actually see that this over here appeared. So if you're downloading a lot of things, that may be the issue. Like if you're playing a game and you're downloading right now or updating a game or maybe uploading a video to internet, what you want to do is you want to stop the download so not completely you don't want to like cancel the download you just want to pause it like over here because if you pause it you're gonna actually have a lot better time playing games if you're downloading something and you're playing games it could be that your internet internet connection is gonna be really bad that's really normal so if you're downloading also something else like uh, let's just say on your computer something just pause the downloads and just play your game and after your game you can just play the game without any problems but like i said guys the best uh, way how you can fix this is to pause it or you can also use a ethernet cable so we are actually going more back to the first way but like i said guys if you do have inter ethernet cable always use it like it's the best option that you can actually have but if your ps5 is like not in a great place and you can like hardly connect your ethernet cable use the second way if not do the dirt way if you're downloading something so these are really useful tips guys like this really helped me a lot actually if i'm playing like for example gta 5 i don't really have problems when i'm actually uh like downloading something what i do is i just go here i just pause it and then just play my game without any problems or what happens is i just get out the session like i just kicked I'm just kicked out of the session. It's kind of annoying. So that's the reason why. Now I'm going to show you the uh, fourth way how you can actually fix this problem. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to DNS code. So you can actually get better internet connection by using DNS code. So what you want to do is you want to go for here, network, 
and then you want to go over to test not test internet connection you want to go over to set up internet connections here you want to select your internet connection that you're using right now so if you are using ethernet connection i don't really suggest you to use dns codes because it's not gonna have a really big effect but on 2.4 and 5.0 it's actually gonna have a bigger effect than the wired LAN cable so let's just choose 5.0 so what you want to do is click on options you want to go over to advanced settings on here you want to go down to dns so this is the dns codes that i'm using right now so if you don't see dns codes what you want to do is you want to go over to dns settings and make sure that this is on manual so i'm already using a dns code that works great for me it might also work great for you so it's basically one uh, one point one point one point one and on here one point zero point zero point one so once you are done typing that in just click on ok and you can just test your internet connections to see how great of your internet connection actually is so i'm also going to show you a other one that also works great actually for me it might also work great for you and this one is 8.44 here we go so you can also use these ones so i'm also gonna wait a little bit so people can actually try to type it in and let's go to the next one that I also want to show you guys. It's 9.9. So if I don't remember this wrong, it was like this. Here we go. You can click on OK. Next DNS is from OpenDNS, and that one is going to be 20867. All right, let's go to the second. So, this is not the same as the same uh, i mean the first dns codes it's 67 here we go now you can just go ahead and click on ok and also guys make sure that you don't use a proxy server you don't really need that so let's go over here and show you the next one and the next one is going to be from open and i see dns Let me double check that right now. Um, all right, the first DNS is right. So let's go to second one and type this one in. 254, all right. Now you can click on OK. So now let's go to the next one. And this is save DNS. So actually, I think I did something wrong on here. I'm not sure. So let's go back. Yes, I actually did. So it's supposed to be 49 
39.40 all right now it's right so now you can just go ahead and click on ok so yeah I think that's basically it these are the DNS codes that I actually do know and also work great for me so it also depends on the place guys so if you live for example in the United States I would say that 1.1.1.1 is gonna work great for you so the first DNS code that I showed you guys in the video if you live in Europe that DNS code is also gonna work great for you and also 8.8.8 .8 from Google so that works also great for the people that live in the United States and also Europe and also the other parts of the world I would say try these types of DNS code so you can also try out 8.8.8 .8 if they work great for you keep using them but if they don't use some other DNS codes so after trying out a other DNS code every single time what you want to do is test your internet connection and see if that DNS code actually does help you if it doesn't give you a great internet connection just use a other DNS code that I showed you in this video so that's how you can actually get better internet connection as the last way but I will keep saying guys the first way is the most effective effective and then the second way using a 5.0 internet connection is the second most effective stopping your downloads is the third most effective and also the fourth one is gonna be using dns codes so this is a bit less effective but could help a lot actually i use dns codes most likely if i'm playing gta 5 sometimes uh, the lobby glitches out I sometimes go kicked offline and sometimes I just use a DNS code to fix that. It could also help with internet connection. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did like it, please drop a like and also subscribe. That will actually help me a lot. And take care guys. And here's my gamer tag. Take care guys.